When Dr. Kiza Besije authored an opinion in the Sunday Monitor two weeks ago, he claimed there was a plan to hold some UPDF officers hostage by appointing them to political offices. A view which was buried deep in the text, Besige's revelation escaped scrutiny. But highly placed sources have told NTV that the message from the doyen of opposition politics was more than what meets the eye. With pent-up frustration over outright incompetence and poor service delivery, highly placed sources told NTV that a purge in cabinet is underway. Sources revealed that among the officers who have been contacted to serve in cabinet by a number of emissaries include former Intelligence Supremo Brigadier Henry Tumkunde and former Chief Political Commissioner Colonel Fred Bogere. When contacted, Uganda Media Center boss Ofono Pondo said that though he had not heard of a courtship of army officers, he revealed there's growing inertia to carry out a reshuffle. Cabinet generally is relaxed and unable to explain government policies in time. Even where there is evidence that they should be able to explain, there's, that, there's a widespread complaint about the performance of a number of government ministers. But it is really up to the president, having had all these complaints, to see how he strengthens uh, the, the, the cabinet. Sources reveal that many delegations continue to meet several army officers, though it's not clear yet whether Tumukunde and Bogere, who have been on what in military parlance is called Katebe, are ready to serve in cabinet. However, both officers have in the past written to the Army Promotions and Retirement Board asking to be retired. Some sources believe that if these two charismatic soldiers accept the offers, it could give the president, who is a master at political dexterity, a chance to win over the hearts of some unhappy officers. The appointment could also be an attempt to placate malcontents and poor action on the troubled waters within the Army after Spy Chief General David Sejusa claimed many senior army officers continue to be held hostage in the UPDF. The president will run the government according to what his assessment is, what will deliver the results. Now, there is no evidence that when you appoint someone in the cabinet, tomorrow you will not disappoint him and you want to join Sejusa. The appointment of General Ronda Nyakarima to the Internal Affairs docket opened up the floodgates for the posting of army officers to cabinet positions. A reshuffle like this often gives the president a fresh opportunity to dispense patronage, and some observers argue that the attempts to reach out to army officers is a careful balancing act to reward those officers who have been held under the unwritten cradle of containment. Emmanuel Mtaizibwa, NTV Weekend Edition.